Welcome back to number six with cheese. That's Corey. I'm Sean. Today, crushed pizza. These top 10, top 20 pizza lists in Chicago. A lot of the places on those lists, kind of the same. And all of a sudden, crushed started popping up on these lists. Is it actually top 10 worthy? We'll find out today. Corey's got it right there, the 12 incher. That's the Louie from Crushed Pizza. Pizzeria? Pizza? Doesn't matter. Acquired jump cut. All right, Sixers on the dashboard. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's open her up. Come on. Yep, yep there we go. Okay, wow. All right. So what do we got on here? This is the Louie. It's got sausage, spicy capicola, pepperoni, roasted red peppers. We skipped the cremini mushrooms, and then obviously their signature crushed tomato sauce. Looks pretty damn good. Yeah, I'd say so. It looks like kind of like an old school Pizza Hut pizza. Like Yo, the way I was that like the crust kind of falls. Like, that's the vibe I got. I'm vibing that. Come on now. Oh, I'm afraid of not getting used today. Oh. Did you forget plates? Not anymore. Not anymore, buddy boy. Take a guess how much this pizza pie was. $45. Yeah, uh, you went in a little high. It's 17 bucks. So after you said 45, it seems like a pretty good price. <laughs> really, the shadows back here. Yeah, dude, what you do in the shadows there is... There we go, dude. I'm going to sprinkle it on my face and on my body. Golden. Golden pony boy. Sick, just got this nice little frink, frink. Oh, yeah. All right, let's feast. Let us feast. Here's your plate. Thanks. Welcome. Wow. Sick. Going right for this yeah, big boy. Yeah, that's the spot right there. Yeah, oh, bring me your neighbor's stuff. There we go. Bring me your neighbor's stuff? Yeah, dude. I like that. I like that. Stole his neighbor's Capicola, Oh, dude. that's cool. Hmm. Well, I guess it's official. I feel like this is the move. It's a great move. It's either that one or that one. Whoa, soft bottom. <laughs> All right. Crushed pizza in Lakeview. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Uh, good. Oh, reminder before I forget, we do have channel memberships now. So if you're interested, yeah. go sign up for $10 until you get a cool little emoji and stuff down on YouTube. You two folks. Supporting the show. Mm -hmm. Your comments look all cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she a hot girl. Handle me? Who gonna handle me? Mm. Oh, this is my thought so far. These ingredients are great. I don't think this pizza was properly cooked. I don't either. I think it's a little undercooked. I think it's a little undercooked. And I also think that's why all the flop. There's no world this would ever be a top 10 Chicago pizza to me. Yeah, probably not. Like, this is good, but there's it's doing nothing for me that I can't get at other places. The only reason I might put a top 10, I have to really think, mm -hmm. is because there's so few New York styles, and I'm like, well, at least I'm getting this, because, yeah, I don't true, know. True, It might be, but then it would be like 10. Yeah. It's definitely not, like, even close to cracking top five. Mm -mm. You're right, though. I mean, really good thin crust pizzas are hard to find here. Mm-hmm. And this is good. Like it's a good, good crust pizza. I wish it was cooked a little, a little more thorough. It's just so, especially these heavy sausage. I know. The front end when it's so undercooked. Yeah. Got the major flop. That the sausage flop. is gonna just fall. Uh huh. I don't like that. I don't need my sausage falling. I don't like it. I'm in control here, and you're gonna give me what I want. Give me what I want. I've been asking for it for years. You're gonna give me what I want, or I'm gonna continue to hurt people you love. I'll tell you what. I like these ingredients though. The ingredients taste good. Whatever these red peppers are, yeah. fire. Very good. For sure, because like, the crust is like mm -hmm. nice and crispy, done right. But yeah, once you kind of get down to the tip of your pizza slice, yep. Flopsville. It's the middle of Flopsville, dude. Well, good crust. Mm, I really like the sausage. Yeah, big chunks of that. Mm, huge. Mm -hmm. I see this big old capicola I get. I wonder how places decide how they're gonna do their sausage. Cause like sausage, big Chicago, big sausage town. Every pizza place does it different. Some places layer it on the whole pizza. Some places do like big, just hunks of it. Mm -hmm. Some people do like little bits. The pellet guns. Pellet gun, quail gun all over the pizza. Like, I wonder how, where that conversation starts and ends. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, it's probably, there's like every restaurant, the guy who starts it and makes all the, <laughs> right. the executive chef. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a boy. I'm just like such a fanboy of pizza that I'm like, I want to sit down in these meetings. The, you thought the neighborhood voted? <laughs> yeah, like an alderman thing. Yeah. I'm going to do another one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you going to Sixer Sauce it? I'm going to absolutely Sixer Sauce it. This looks like a good looking slice. Look at that fall, man. Yeah. But you're right. Look at this. I am i don't really know how people fall on flop. That cheese is going to fall, bro. But look, bro. I want, I'm doing it for them. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> As I pull cheese off my shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go full 180 on it. Okay. okay. So get some good. 
it'll fall. There we go. We got our own hot sauce, if you haven't known. We got a mild and we got a hotter, if you like to get weird. They're both great. They're great for pretty much all, all foods. Oh, this is like, dude, this, this is not good. This, that. I know. It's, yeah, it's I know. poor. Uh-huh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'll say, we ordered it right when they opened. Right when they opened. So I feel like they can't like be overwhelmed. It's like the first order that comes in. No. They had quite a pizza set up back there too. It looked like a hell of an oven. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, I'm so bummed about the cook of it. Yeah, it's like really bad. Really bad cooking style. The ingredient, everything else, the ingredients are great. I bet this is really good if they would have left it in a couple more minutes. And what's the price on this again? 12 inch. Louis was $17. Okay. I feel like that's a fair price. Yeah, like a specialty pizza like this. It's not huge, but it's, it's not 17 a huge bucks. Pizza. I think they have a 16 inch version of it too. A lot of pizzas in the city are 34 bucks, so, you know. Yeah, it's kind of wild. I'm glad we tried this because this thing just kept popping up the last few weeks of being such a good pizzeria. I won't talk about the place. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. We're gonna go get it. I'm glad we did. You wanna play a game and try to name off 10 better pizzas in the city? You wanna go like back and forth? Yeah, yeah. And then if some of us get stuck, we can say another one? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, ready? Yeah, you wanna go first? Professor Pizza. Miller's Pizza in the Pan. Pequod's. Five Square. Vito and Nick's. Cat Chris's. Jimmy's Pizza Cafe. Dante's. Coal Fire. Mmm, yeah. Roebuck. Okay, yeah, this probably isn't top 10. Well, I have a few more too, so. Yeah, I think I could have. But maybe top 20. But that's a this lot. This could of just be we got a bad, you know, every now and again you just get unfortunate. It was a bad cook. A Everything bad... on it's good. This is why I love that we don't tell restaurants. When we're coming. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Otherwise, not... they're going to take their time and do it the right way, but then other people are going to go in there and get it the normal way. I really have come to love that about the show. Mm -hmm. That we are like real. True, blue collar, two schmucks walking in there. Secret shopper, dude. Absolute secret shopper. One of the dumbest things about Chicago yeah. is these goddamn boxes. Really? You don't like them? Don't like them. Isn't this how all boxes are? No, I guess nope, not. Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> Keeps them nice and tight. I know. I just, I, for something about it, I don't think the old pizza box was broken. Okay. It's just a hot take <laughs> that doesn't need to exist. Before we rate that pizza, some super thanks shout outs. People that click that thanks button and donate to the show right on the videos. Derek Boudreau, CM Fish Skins, Derek Boudreau, Derek Boudreau, Sam Bliss, Sam Bliss, Derek Boudreau, Stephen Carrington, Jim McFarlane, Derek Boudreau, Jim McFarlane, Derek Boudreau, Derek Boudreau, Derek Boudreau, Jim McFarlane, Derek Boudreau. The gods have been crowned, bro. The and gods Derek are crowned. Boudreau and, and Jim McFarland are the gangsters of all time. Unbelievable. Dude. I like that fish skins one. Fish skins. That one really Sammy stuck Bliss, out to bro. me. That's a good name. Sammy freaking Bliss, dude. Thank you guys for super thanksing the show. It means a lot. They're Thumbs up. Before we go ahead and rate that pizza on the Sean and Corey number six with cheese, Chicago scale out of five, one last little breakdown, then we'll get into it. Take it away. Really impressed by the ingredients on top of it, particularly the sauce engine, whatever those red peppers are. Yeah. I had a bite of just the capicola and it kind of blended in. It didn't stick out of that bite, which was a little surprising, but it's kind of a thin meat. So maybe that's yes. just there for like, it looks cool on the menu. Yeah. I like that the underside has the, um, that grainy, what is that? What are they putting down on there? Cornmeal. I like that. I do, I'm a cornmeal guy. Yeah. Crust was great on the back end, but like we said, I don't think ours was fully cooked through. No. Way too flippity flop. Flop. Opportunity for a belly smack or a nosedive <laughs> ingredient move. They just fall right off. I like that. Uh, I, I, I don't. I like how you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like gummy, uh, undercooked pizza. <laughs> yeah. That's, guys, I'm kind of bummed out, man. I really wish they would have cooked that longer. Everything Corey said spot on about the ingredients. I'm just like, man, I hate floppy, like undercooked triangle. Yeah. So let's go ahead. Alex Trebek, bump that track from heaven. Man. The ingredients are going to help a lot. It and helps a lot. The isn't too bad. It's not great, but... Ugh, yeah. I really wanted to give him like, I was ready for a five today, dude. I was just feeling, yeah, I was feeling good about it. They're uh, lucky that they got dope ingredients for the score. This would be average at best if it wasn't for these fire ingredients. I'm cut, still probably over. Cut that off! Okay. Probably overscoring them a little. A little. We'll see what happens. All right, on um, the count of three, reveal your score to five. One, two, three. Ha! Ah. Wow. Yeah. You gave him a great score. See, it's funny. Explain I, yourself. I, I think 3-8, everything was good besides the cook. 
Yeah, but you mean the main part? Well, like I, I think, I think <laughs> you like, I th you know how it's one of those things. Like if I go back there and get it again, I bet it would be better. Look, I'll tell you this: if I got a grilled cheese and they just put slices of cheese and didn't cook it, <laughs> but it was high quality cheese, I was like, that's Dude, so good. If it wasn't, yeah, yeah. they just didn't cook it. You're absolutely bro. right. They would have cooked you're it right. right. That's the whole thing, bro. You're absolutely right, dude. I definitely wrote to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're spot on. I'm, I'm being optimistic in the fact that I really liked it, I other than the cook. I think there's gonna be people who, like, I think, because you said real quick, you said. I think people are gonna go there and get great pizzas. Yeah, I think that that I think there's times where they cook it right. I think we just you know it's one of those things. You're though, taking that a like, risk. You're a local place. You got to do it right every time. You got to because you never know when Sean and Corey are walking through the doors. Yeah, keep you on notice, buddy. Hi, what pizza, please? Like I literally look, sound like a cartoon character when I went in there. He was like, "What? <laughs> Why are you here? Damn it! Whatever." Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. New videos Monday through Friday. We go live sometimes and hang out with you guys. How about today? What is the Thing. What is the the thing that can ruin a pizza the fastest for you? Okay. Like yeah. some people don't mind great, floppy great pizza. Like yeah. truly. Yeah. Um, what for you would be kind of like the the right. nope, I'm done. Right. I'm bummed. Like what you is that with a pepperoni? I think I wouldn't mind it as much. Yeah. It's just with those sausages, you can't right. They're gonna fall off. Right. But even a pepperoni, I've been like, okay, whatever. Right. Some answers could even that. be like on the other side of that, like the Neapolitan pizzas being like too cooked and too charred. And some, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like different things like that. So let us know, what's your deal breaker? Interested to hear it. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode on the show. The phone flipping has started, so the episode be done. <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks for being here. Be good to each other. Goodbye. Peace. Crushed my dreams. <laughs>